Bear hunting in the mountains of Idaho is an experience all on its own. You typically have to deal with snow, adverse weather, extremely steep terrain. But being in the presence of these amazing creatures in this awe-inspiring habitat makes everything worth it. This is the story of one of the craziest hunts of my life. That's a whole tree. We, we're gonna just take a branch, but then, um, you know, things got a little carried away and... <laughs> the whole you root system. Wood. The whole root system, it looks gotcha. like. Gotcha. Got it by the root. We brought the whole forest. That'll start it, for sure. What's up, people? Back at bear camp. I think it's 10 days after we were here when Garrett shot his, so. As you can see, it's snowing a lot but believe it or not conditions have improved dramatically a lot of snow has lifted i just went and checked out the road we went on to get garrett's bear is actually a lot better so it's looking good we're socked in with snow tonight which sucks for setting up camp and everything but we're gonna set up camp and um the rest of the forecast for the next four days looks great got sean neeld and jacob Locke with us so Neither of them have ever really black bear hunted, so hoping to get their first bears. Um, stay tuned, it's gonna be pretty sweet. Five bucks is right there. Got it dude. there? All right, let's go for it. I love how you took your gloves off to then use the mall and come. Yeah! Yo, good betting man right there. Those are my favorite slow motion shots of Gareth. When he looks like Borat. Just trying to keep it. Oh, there's yeah, no, I was like, man, I'm still not seeing the flame. I know, it's barely hanging on, but it's getting there. I'm just <laughs> slowly adding to it. We're headed up the road now. Same road we were hiking a few weeks ago, so at least we're going to cut off about a mile of our ascent here. A uh, pretty big change. I think we're gonna cut off quite a bit of quite a bit of hiking time today. I say we hike it. Just be smart. So you guys I mean it's your call, but I'm not driving. So this is the part where it kind of just socks in and then it starts it just gets that way. It's like thick, a little bit shallow, a little bit thicker, but I think this is probably your worst, I would assume. If this we, is the worst, this doesn't scare me. You wanna try it? I'll creep and try it. Try it out? Yeah. Okay. We're ready to do this. Let's mob it. stuck i think okay. it's it's not gonna take long no let's get it done the yeah. good thing is you're in the center which you're not over and i'm not, not high centered here. which is good too well i was just creeping creeping and then it went <laughs> not a friendly navigable route at all still not which no. keeps the pressure out yep it does it does for sure all this trouble means somebody's gonna kill a bear that's what that means so I'm, I'm feeling really pumped about this because it always is like, this sucks. And then you get there and you're like, wow, cool. There's five bears, like exceptional B-roll. Oh yeah. Watching Jacob get stuck three times was sweet. <laughs> this is the process. Well, I, like, I popped out Garrett's like, you caught it. And I was like, nope. <laughs> Yeah, we're good. Oh, shit. Man, I've got to get out of this bar day. Gosh, we're so close. Yep, it's nice and easy. we got to get up that hill, though, so when you feel it, let's go. 
Go, go, go. Oh. Go! Three, oh, 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 boy. Yep. There you go. Yep. There you go. Nicely done. Oh, yeah. Alright, he's dug in on the right side. Alright, let me get a log. Straighten your wheel. Straighten your wheel. Straighten your wheel. Yeah. Okay. Little forward. Little forward. Okay, stop. Stop. All right, little little jam up in time. Had a guy coming with tracks. Then we set up, we should have had both eagles pulled out. However, set up with the toe straps, easy out, kept tension, and the old Nissan got the Toyota out. So we're back on the, back on the road and in the game. This is the recipe for a dirt nap. <laughs> that sunshine. It is nice. Check a few of my favorite angles here and see if I can turn one up. I feel like you could almost just see these bears with your bare eyes yes. if they're moving. I do know, on average, biologically, younger bears emerge from dens before older bears. Older bears will sleep longer. And so, like, if you're opening first week, second week, yep. you're gonna see more young bears than old bears. Whereas later season and in the fall, you'll see those those older bears. Well, and I mean, big again is relative ge geographically, big. but like there's a difference between a two-year-old and a 10-year-old, even if there's only a hundred pound difference weight-wise. There's so many factors to think about. If you think about a younger bear and how much fat they possibly put on at their size, they might have to emerge earlier. This That's the point. Older, older, yeah, they're gonna run out of fat reserves before older bears. Now there comes a point where they're too old right. that they can't eat efficiently anymore, like that winter kill I found. Like your canines are gone, like they can't even kill a calf anymore or a fawn. Yeah. All they're relying on is greens and berries. It looks like it's going to. I saw it over here and I saw it coming together. It's kind of coming off that big mountain. Dude, that's totally snow. Yep, Which, I bet it's grapple. <laughs> Dipping dots are just gonna be hitting us. Hey everyone, it's 14:55. We called three o'clock. We're gonna see bears. Guess what we're seeing? A bear. That's a shooter, dude. Just watch him, watch where he goes, and hopefully we can get him to come down that ridge. Beautiful. Him won't move to, to an advantageous position. Oh, he's a good one. Dark cinnamon? Yep. I mean, pretty color. Right? Not huge, but a good color. Damn, that's awesome. It is awesome. <laughs> pretty dark cinnamon. That's a dark bear, yeah. We've been staring at that damn slope all day. Absolutely. And that's the thing, is like any of these, right. just a matter. That's insane. That's a good bear. I'll shoot him. Yeah, I'd shoot him in a heartbeat. Pumped. We're staring yeah, at him so now. Cool. <laughs> got a nice darker, got a brown tinge to him. Looks good. Looks real good. He's grazing right now, kind of just eating some eating some grass on a north facer in, in an open, grassy part of the, of the face. So we're hoping he kind of comes down the ridge. If he comes down the ridge, we'll have a nice spine shot. We should be able to set up and make her happen. Pretty cool looking bear. What's that face that's open below? Is that 500-ish? He's gonna come down on us. I really do. It's pretty sweet. Love seeing bears, man. It's so cool. 
We're hoping he moves down. He could get to a position where he's under 500, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get him to 400. It's a problem. Look at him just going to town. Munchy, munchy. You can just see him going. <laughs> it's funny when they rip it off like a cow. You can see just a long piece of veg come out. Yeah. I like that color. God. It's like a red tinged it's, chocolate. Yeah, cho dark chocolate, chocolate with a red tinge. Cool. Primo, dude. Primo. It's hard to see him right now, but oh yeah, tree. Sure. We ran He's coming down the tree here, down the conifer, still working right. He's running, so it's like he's in the timber now. I can't take my eyes off him. I know where the second. pocket is, yeah. Stay on him and then we'll move. Yep, I do not want to lose him. He's in the timber, coming up again. Oh, there he is. Yep. Oh, he's in range from the spine. Big guy. Oh, he just hit that log. Do you see that log, Garrett? Oh. Why is he snow plowing like that? Yeah, he is. He's in the snow. See him? He's right in a clear patch in the snow. Nope, he just stopped and he's looking behind him. Now he's moving again. Oh, he's in such a good spot to shoot him right now. We really need him to come down. He's standing on top of a cliff outcrop. We need him to come down. Oh, wow. I don't think he's that small if I can see him. I mean, I'm I'm very content with pulling the trigger on no, him. No, he's, yeah, he'd shoot him. Yeah, absolutely. Don't pass that barrel. But where he's at right now? Is no, no, no. You can't. I, I would not suggest that person. Uh, I mean, I'll go wherever you guys kill him. I'm just telling you, it's going to suck and ball sack. I don't think you're going to just get up there and get him real quick. So Jacob and I moved down to the spine to try to get a shot. And bear disappeared. Lost him in some trees. Been here for about, well, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. He just popped back out. And he's just moving. Kind of a little jogger. He's going to have to come down several hundred feet before we're going to shoot him. He needs to stop burning all that fat. We need it for the eggs in the morning. Yeah, by God, we need your fat. <laughs> oh man, could you imagine bear camp, canvas wall tent, bear grease, scrambled eggs? Oh, yeah. oh shit, that sounds amazing. Got a cool brown fit, brown muzzle. Okay, does he have the cappuccino? Does he have cappuccino muzzle? Yes. Yep. Yep. I haven't heard that term okay. Yeah, a lot of times on the jet black bears, they'll say yep. jet black with cappuccino nose. Okay. Yeah. It's like they dunk their nose and mm, it. Makes sense now. Yeah. So we've been on this bear for several hours now, and he's just in a very bad location. As far as retrieval, I just, it's honestly almost not possible. I would say it's possible, but it's very treacherous. And he's gotten into a worse and worse location throughout the day. I don't think we're gonna shoot him tonight, unless he moves. At the same point in time, I don't really think we should like leave him. Cause he might drop down low enough to where we'd feel comfortable shooting. We'll see. Uh, Sean and Garrett are off hunting around the rest of the rim. We're kind of here, it's just an advantageous little sniper's roost, so might as well. We got two hours till dark. We're gonna see what happens. I think he's just kind of wandering, you know? Now he's out there sniffing the wind. Oh, oh, turned. Look, he's trying to find a way down. Look at him trying to find his way down that rock. What a goober. Look at him, look where he puts his paw and he's like, ah, uh, I'm not sure if I can, that's not very solid. Look at him go through that stuff. Oh, a little hop. He's going down there to eat lichens. Look at him. Lichens <laughs> really. Smelled a good one from where he was standing. Now he's pawing at the dirt. Wow, fascinating. Oh, he's gonna leave. He's gonna go around the corner. Yeah. Damn it. All right. Well, it's getting dark. I think we're gonna flex and bust out of here. I got my little mental list. Just make sure I got everything I need. 
Pretty, pretty straightforward. Poop on there. Poop. Ding. <laughs> Check off. Absolutely gorgeous morning here at Bear Camp. Um, we're gonna check out an area actually where we were two weeks ago and I passed on a, a black bear there I'm uh, gonna head to that canyon here soon hike up in there and see what we can make out of today It's gorgeous right now definitely feels like spring rough grouse are drumming just beautiful so did snow again of course um, starting to melt off real good now actually there was a ton of snow melt yesterday obviously we still kind of want that face before we climb up it to be devoid of snow so probably gonna wait till tomorrow maybe let that hopefully burn off today head in there and try to shoot that that coon eyed one so stay tuned probably gonna be hiking for a little bit here and then get back with you So Sean spotted this bear, the same one from a couple weeks ago. Um, it's got those cinnamon sides, a little snow squall started up. He went into the timber. It's kind of giving us an opportunity to maybe get ahead of him. Uh, Garrett and Jacob are going to stay above us, keep glassing while we head down to get him positioned. We're hoping he comes out about 300 yards across from us, get a nice rest, get set up on the bipod. Let him have it. So we're gonna try to ease over there now. Slick cold mess out here. That'll work. All right, so we're set up now. We made it down here. We're hoping he, hoping he comes out about 350 yards. Pretty severe slope, so. Sean's having to use the bipod on a pack. So we'd, we'd like to get prone, but right in this spot that we're in, I, it's not gonna happen. We're waiting him out. He went into this group of trees right in front of us. He was on the right side, moving left and down. We're hoping he comes out to the left, the direction to travel he was on. But if he comes out to the right, there's a 400 yard shot. So either way, if he doesn't gain a bunch of elevation or lose a bunch, which if he loses it, we should see him slipping by and maybe get a shot there. Um, should be good. I mean, we're in a good spot. Thinking he went embedded in those trees or maybe because of this little squall that happened or who knows. That's what we're thinking anyway, so. In position. Want some moose jerky? Yeah, I'll pop that out here. It's the tangy stuff. Steak and eggs for lunch. weather must be clearing. So he just popped out, but he went all the way to the top of the drainage. Now he's kind of working his way back down, which if he worked back down to where he was, we could get him, but we're just going to watch him. Hopefully he doesn't go over that point. Pull the old go up the drainage trick on us. Oh boy. Get ready. He decided to move. He's moved further to the right. There's a nice spine where we can get to um, we can get closer to him, get within 400, so we're moving that way now. Danny and Sean are headed down to the spine right now for a shot. Let's say we've got a bear right now, it's probably around 450. If I can zoom out and get you guys a shot of what he looks like. We're gonna move out to this spine. Target. We're a little worried about him tucking back up in the timber because he's kind of bebopped in and out over him. But he's starting to kind of move right, which is going to put them in a good position. As long as he drops. So, Let's see how it goes as these guys get set up. Cameraman Dan, Sean. Dangerous Dan. Danimal. It's probably, it's probably about four. I haven't checked right It's not very far now. So 
355. Yeah, I think you got all the time in the world. You hit in front of his nose. Your elevation was right. Mm -hmm. He just got scared and looked at it. He's running up the hill. He's just behind that bush now. He doesn't know what happened. He's walking up. Clean mess though. Yeah, clean mess. Just to the left of him. Oh well, better a clean mess than Yep, that. better a clean mess. Yep, absolutely. He's still... He didn't really know what happened. Just kind of walking in the bushes. See him on the in that little chute. He's on the right side. You have a line. Yeah, I'll range for them. Four, four hundred. You in the snow? Just above where he just was, under those trees, or right on the left side of, like where the snow ends. He's right above it. Four thirty-five there. You missed low, just barely. It's all right, don't beat yourself up. It's a tough shot. You didn't hit him though. No? No. Pretty clear that I did not. Yeah. He was just kind of like, what was that, you know? It's a tough shot. It really is. Holy shit. That's the blondest one I've ever seen. It's all muddy too. Oh, well, you got two, three hundred off getting on that. No, no. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go kill him. We need to shoot this bear. All right, so we just saw a white bear. Spotted a white bear. We're gonna try to move into position on him. It's freaking white. Crazy looking bear. Trying to get across this creek. It's just really not possible so far. Um, so now we're hiking way up drainage, trying to find a down log or something. It's pretty miserable. Not gonna lie. Down by these creeks, no down logs either. Son of a bitch. Solid log too. Let's we'll get you log crossing. Finally made it across. Jacob and I are moving in to make a shot now on a bear. We've got him right about 400 yards across the canyon. We're working our way down to a spine. We had to drop prey about 150 feet from where we were to get this shot. So he's still up grazing, working his way to a spine. So we're going to get set up and see what we can do. Stay tuned. Jacob's up for a shot. We're getting steady now. Bear's on the hillside. He's at about 340. Hold on, Jacob. Let me get one more range. 344. When you feel comfortable, safety off and let him have it.
Just take your time. This bear, we need to kill this bear. We just gotta be patient. We can't do anything crazy. I think we got like three hours still, so. That thing's crazy. We're about, shit, we're not even 100 yards, barely from where we saw him last time. You ready? Yes, sir. Wait for him to turn broadside, though. Okay. I think you rocked him. I missed the hit. Follow him. Give him another one. You rocked him. You rocked him. Dead bear, Jacob. Dead bear, Jacob. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. That's how you do it. Hey, right here, kid. That's how you do it, son. <laughs> All right, so Jacob just made a really good shot, 340, roughly. Um, we got a bear up here on the side of the hill. And he's down, so we got a long little situation ahead of us, but we're good, we're gonna do this. How do you feel, dude? <laughs> First bear. First bear. We didn't make it very far. No, so we basically were sitting on this spine up, or this rock outcropping, and we cut the distance and came down. And this is a literal reenactment of the shot that was just taken on this bear and missed. So we just concluded it from the same spot, same perch with the 6.5 Creedmoor. And that bear, that bear 340. That bear is down right there where he left. So we got a long way to go. So we're gonna start pumping and getting stuff done. All right, we're headed down for Jacob's bear now. We gotta cross the creek, do a little bit of Shell shuffle. Loaded up, headed out. We got Danny and Sean above us. We're gonna grab the packs and we are going to head off and up and onto that spine and all the way out and down to the road. We got probably, I don't know, maybe a mile and a half or two. Heavy pack and we're on our way. Two hundred. Do we have a range? One sixty six. Good hit. Reload. That was a hit. Was a hit. Be watching, guys. He's flipping in. I'm going to hit. Oh, yeah, you dumped it. Rock, right? Get out of that shit. Please get out of that shit. He hasn't come out either way. He's only going down. Yep. Let's run down. Somebody run down and check. Garrett, Whoever Garrett, can. Yep, Garrett, run right. down. I think he died behind that car. That's the, that's this is death floor! This is death floor! Oh yeah, buddy! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs>
Jesus fucking hell! God! Oh my. There we go. Two bears down. That's two bears, baby. Okay. This, hey, is, what, this is what you guys <laughs> are going to hate. Birthday. Woo! Birthday, baby. Birthday, baby. <laughs> Death Moan. I don't know how far he went down, but he's behind that corner. Hey, he hasn't come below oh the Oh my god. Game. Getting damn is going to sound. You rocked him, man. A white bear? <laughs> it's, a it's an Idaho polar a bear. Trophy. <laughs> a trophy, dude. A trophy. Good banana. job, John. Way to get on him. Way to get on him and be just confident, dude. Heck you yeah. Flip shit. I was like, where is he? I'm looking for a black. He bear. gave us the Merlin vital hit. Oh yeah, you got the death roar. Yep, that's it. How con that? I've never heard that before. So How yeah, if you, you get guys, the, that's that's, that's the yeah. Hundred percent. That is the death roar. I'm about ready to cry. Yep, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> We just doubled off. Oh, That's damn. the bear of a lifetime. Oh man. That's we just doubled off. I'd be the bear of ten lifetimes. Oh my god, my hair is standing up. I'm glad, I, I'm glad I'm not trying to shoot him again now. Dude! Because I'm getting shaken. <laughs> what? So he hit the drainage and he's just been milling in the bottom of this drainage the whole time. Which you guys <laughs> sitting here over the top of yeah. him under 200 yards for like two hours. My yeah. god, guys. <laughs> two bears. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> we only have one more tag to film. Are you kidding me right now? I think at this point, we're hosed. Like, just take our time, be safe, head, <laughs> headlamp it. Like, we're in it for the long haul tonight. Oh, Honestly, yeah. don't. I'm blown away, dude. Happy birthday. Oh, That's like awesome, dude. Thing or something. It's just, it's same bloodline. Crazy. That's almost albino in color. Two Ursus within like 500 yards of each other. Less. No, Couple. 200 yards of yes. each other. Like, right. just crazy. That's intense, man. That's a solid day. Wow. Fucking wow. <laughs> Starting off rough. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I mean, the draw's a draw, but. <laughs> the bear on James. <laughs> You're just talking to me all serious with a bear hanging out like, on your back. like executing a kill shot with a bear on your back. This is unreal, by the way. It's like the way you want it. Just look at how cool that thing is, man. Just freaking You never awesome. know what's gonna happen in a day, right? This day has been a freaking wild day. It's been a wild day. Here's our polar bear. Look at his front I don't know what else to say about him, except for he just it blows my mind. Sean, that is a great bear, dude. That is amazing. Come on, spaces. Yeah, I mean, he's just white in the snout. Pink blue nose, blue eyes. eyes. Blow that up a little bit. Let's see those chompers. Good chompers. Oh, he's got age, Gary. Yeah, no, I can tell he's by got, looking at his cut staining. Look at the look at the staining. Look at his canines, dude. He's he's. Dude. I'd give him five plus. What's up with his right canine? Turn it a little bit. Is it pretty blunt? Between five to ten. Yeah, he's got some wear. He's not ten, <laughs> but like yeah, middle age for sure. Like he's got a lot of staining. Dude, wow. hell of a bear. Yeah. Wow. First bear, right? First bear. My first bear. Beginner's luck struck today. How about that? Hell of a How about that? Man. This thing came over the ridge and started down, and um, I said, "What the f is that?" And told Danny, "Look over there, we got a polar bear." And uh, and Danny thought I was pulling his leg and just being funny, and uh, looked over there and saw this thing coming down the hill, and uh, we were blown away by it. I lost my freaking mind. Uh, we just started scrambling and getting gear together and moved through some pretty wild country, crossed a couple streams, over logs, through brush, up a really tough slope. Jacob took a took a bear right when we were getting up to the ridge line on this guy. We, they got that taken care of. We waited on this guy and waited on this guy and couldn't get him to come out where we thought he was going to come out and uh, uh but on our way out i'd made the comment that well we might see him on the way out and sure enough we were on this ridge behind me uh and there he is there's that bear and i just dropped pack and got the rifle on it and these guys ranged for me he said somebody said 167 uh held for that and took him through the bottom of the boiler room and just dropped him. I feel good about it because it was a clean kill. I'd never heard that, the, the death roar. Yeah, man. That was really wild. Um, and uh, so here here we are, it was a mind blowing day. I'd never in a million years would have thought I'd be sitting here with a Bonkers. freaking blondie bear. Yeah, yep. so super cool, super cool. Blonde hair, blue eyes, white snout, amazing, amazing color, amazing bear. Uh, so I obviously was blessed in some fashion on this day today, which is Danny's birthday, which is super cool. 
So uh, happy birthday again doubled to you, my friend. Danny's best footage ever. We doubled, <laughs> bear doubled, hey, bear yeah. doubled on Danny's bear birthday. Bear camp chronicles, baby. You are good luck, my friend. You are good luck. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's been really good. Not a, all right, let's get them. All right. Yes, sir. It's almost dark. Final stage before before the real deal. I'll be back. We'll find the real deal. Then. 800 feet and probably 400 yards. Okay, let's do that. Hey, yeah, my legs like a quivering legs of doom. Right, oh. right at the very end, a little, a little bear snort. Punch shit. Is that the scotch? Yes, yeah, sir. There's not a ton in here, so it's not like we're asking you to pound it, but it's very good stuff. Oh man, it is good stuff. You gave me a Drink your water back there. Hey, he's giving me a drink of scotch. There you go. Fair trade. A little scotch for water. Thank you, Chase, or shit, mate. That's oh, sweet. Good. That's good. Isn't that good? That's good. Thank you. Mark, you're right on. Good job. Thanks, you too, bud. Thank Hit you. it, Sean. All right, just a little bit. Oh, I'll put it here. I think that's a little bit more. Oh yeah. Okay. Hey, two bears. Danny's birthday. Happy birthday to Danny. Cheers. Uh, actually, it's not Danny's birthday anymore, but we get to do this now. Danny, yeah. Your turn, buddy. <laughs> yeah. You're up, dude. You need a, you need a bear snort. Hell of a day. I would oh. say the best bear hunt I've been on, especially spot and stock. And many more. I like that. That's really, 